Wall Street is set to open higher as the markets seek to build some positive momentum. It was a mixed session yesterday with the Dow eking out a small gain, while the Nasdaq and S&P 500 ended lower. Elon Musk says his deal to buy Twitter cannot move forward until the company provides proof the number of bot and spam users on the site is less than 5 percent. In a tweet this morning, Musk cited a report saying as many as 20 percent of users may be fake and the number could be even higher. Twitter doesn't currently require users to register using their real identities and allows automated parody and fake profiles on the service. Apple will now allow app developers to automatically charge customers when the price of a subscription increases, but only in certain cases. Previously, users had to manually opt in to renew a subscription if it came with a price bump. Apple says developers can't raise a weekly or monthly subscription by more than 50 percent. For an annual subscription, they can still raise the price by 50 percent, but not more than $50 without requiring users to opt in. And Uber has unveiled a new partnership to allow users to charter a private bus through the app as it expands into different modes of transportation. The feature will be rolled out this summer, is aimed at events such as weddings. Buses and drivers will be provided by U.S. Coachways. Uber will get an undisclosed service fee from each booking. For CNBC Business News, I'm Silvana Hanau.